So in this lesson, we're going to go over the thank you page. So the thank you page is a page that you can designate when someone signs up for a course that they go to this page. So you can see a preview right here. We're going to click customize. We're logged into Kajabi under website design. Thank you page. So click customize. Okay, so you're going to see that this consists of two sections. We have a hero section, which is right here with this image and it says success. And then the offer thank you, um, which is the text right here. And then we also have a call to action um, turned on right here under the offer thank you. So we've set up quite a few heroes at this point, but I'm still going to run through it just to show you the basics. So to add a hero, you go add section and then you would click hero. Uh, we've already got it. So we're just going to show, I'm going to show you how I edited this. So the first thing we have is text. And I've got it at eight columns. I could put it at 10 columns just to keep it uh, uniform with the other pages that I've set up. And then I typed in success. And if I want to see, I'm using the H1 style. So I would just highlight this and then go to formats, headings, heading one. And then I want it centered. So then I would go to alignment, center. So that's how I've got the word success there. And then uh, I'm not using a call to action typography, background. I haven't changed any of these settings um, just right here. So now when I go back, I've got the text set up, but I do want to uh, set up the section settings uh, with the background that's going to cover the whole section. So let's go to background. I changed this to image and then I uploaded this image, which should be 2880 by 1200. And then I put it uh, background image position is centered. That was the default. So I just left it. And then I chose a background color and you can see that um, this background color is, uh, you can see through it. Let me just click on it. Um, so let's say I wanted to go with any color. I could click, click the blue for my logo, which overlays over this image. And then I click on the color wheel right here and I drag this opacity bar, maybe to about right there. And that looks good. So, that's how you can make the success stand out a little bit is just to have a little bit of gradient over it with some color, uh, just so that stands out. Then on the desktop layout, I left it at the default. So 140, 140, all these are the defaults. And then the mobile layout, 40, 10, 40, 10, those are the, the default layouts. So that's it for the hero section. It's all set up. So let's go back. And now the offer. Thank you. So with the offer, thank you. Let me click on that. Um, this is what it came with default. So it had this, uh, this icon right here. It says, thank you. And then I added this, your purchase was successful. You'll receive an email shortly with further instructions. You can go ahead and click on the course library to access your course. So that's all right here. If you look at the, the code, um, this icon is in, is an H1 and then the thank you is an H1 and then the rest is regular paragraph. Okay. Let me get out of that. Okay. And so, um, when we go to section settings, the call to action is turned on and I put course library and then go to a URL, I put forward slash library. Cause that is the, uh, the designation of where it's going to go. And then, um, I'm not opening this in a new tab. I want them to leave this success page and go to, to the actual course library. And the button background color is the red for my logo. The text is the white. Um, the button width is auto. Um, if I put it to full, it would go, I think that's a little bit too big. So auto, um, will adjust based on the screen size. The button style is solid. If I wanted outline, it would look like that. I'm going to keep it solid. And then the button size I have at medium with a border radius of four. Then on the background, um, I've got the background media to none. And then on the background color, I've got it on tan, just so there's a little bit of contrast instead of just white. And then on the desktop layout, I've got it at 140, 140. Uh, you'll notice that these forties look like they're grayed out. Those are default settings and hundred. Uh, I put those in and then on the mobile layout, I've got 40, 10, 40, 10. Those are the default settings. Okay. So that's it for the thank you page. Really? You're going to decide what you want uh, on this. Thank you page. For me, the only time I'm going to use this thank you page, is when someone purchases a course from me. I'm not using it for any opt-ins or anything else. And that's why I'm leading them to the course library is because I'm only going to use this thank you page when they purchase a course. So, um, let's go back. 
always click save to make sure all your uh, settings are saved. Let's go to sites, let's go to design, and then click thank you page. And once you click there, you'll be able to see your thank you page design and you're good to go. So that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next.